Hi class, this is Miss Champagne, and today I'm going to teach you how to multiply multi-digit numbers. We're going to start with 53.58 times 9.35. And as you can see, it is written horizontally. All right? When it's written across, it's called horizontal. And you can remember that if you draw a little sun here, a little smiley face, the sun rises and sets on the horizon. That's how you know that this is called horizontal. We are going to write these numbers vertically. And vertically means up and down. This is called vertical. And I'm gonna put 53.58 here. And I'm gonna put 9.35 underneath it vertically. Now, we are going to separate these numbers so it's easier for us to multiply. If there are three numbers down here, you're going to write 53.58 three times. If there are two numbers down here, you're going to write 53.58 twice. If there's one number, then you just write 53.58 one time. Since there's three numbers here, I'm going to write 53.58 three times, but I'm going to leave off the decimal until the end. So the very first thing that you do, circle all the numbers that are behind the dot. And I see there are one, two, three, four. So there are four numbers all together behind the dot, which is the decimal. So that means in our answer, we're also going to make sure there's four numbers behind the dot or the decimal in our answer. Second thing is go ahead and write 53, 58, three times. Five, three, five, eight. And don't write them too close together so you have a little bit of space in between each number. Once, five, three, five, eight. And five, three. Five, eight again. So we go back to our original example. We see here that a five is underneath the eight. So I'm going to go to the first column and make sure that my five is underneath the eight. Then we move over and make sure you only write one number in each column at a time. Then we see here that the number three is underneath the five. So I'm going to go to the second column and make sure that I write a number three underneath that five. Then I see here that a nine is underneath the three. So I'm gonna go over to my last column and make sure that I write a nine under the three. Since I already have a five here under the eight, I don't need another number here under the eight. So I'm just gonna write a zero. And a zero is my placeholder. All I do is bring it down. Over here. I already have a number underneath my five. I don't need another number under, underneath my five. Here, uh, I have a number five underneath my eight. I don't need another number underneath my eight. So these are two zero placeholders that we just bring down in our answer. And if you look at this number, this number without the decimal is 935. And we're going to multiply this number by 900. 35. So all you're doing is taking this bottom number and writing it in this expanded form. That's what we learned from elementary school, expanded form. So 935. So let's start here with the last number, 8 times 5. Uh, if you don't remember your 8 times table,